Maul of Rory and Maul not only approves of Drake's behavior toward DeMar DeRozan, he encourages it. Disrespecting, you know, a guy that was a friend of yours that made it very comfortable for you during your time in Toronto, made sure the city embraced you, mm. rolled out the red carpet for you, treated you like one of their own. And then the first chance, you know, you got to to show your true colors and how you felt, you know, you chose to you chose a side. And that's mm. fine. But I just understand how people are saying, oh, Drake is corny for this and this, that. It's like, okay, I made it comfortable for you for years. So your first time back, I'm going to make it uncomfortable. What up, words? Your boy Charles Brown back again talking facts. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep sending those cash shots to CLBMG. Gang, this is what I mean when I say a grown man will do what he's allowed to do. When you act like Drake did when he stared down DeMar DeRozan at the Vince Carter, and I do say the Vince Carter, where they were honoring Vince Carter for his time with the Raptors, and DeMar DeRozan was playing... He was in the city. He, he was back for a game. Just a random game, right? Nothing special. Drake and his bodyguard, Chubbs, decided they were going to stand courtside and stare this man down. Now, all of us with any kind of right sense of mind knows that this is really, really pushing this, the boundaries of just goofy and corny. I'm just going to be honest. And there's only a few people that approve of this, right? And one of these people, one of the enablers of this weirdo behavior, and if you don't know what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened. So DeMar was playing and Drake was courtside, standing in a green mink with, I believe, pink bow rats in his hair. Right? And that's very, I know some people may say that has nothing to do with the story. It has a lot to do with the story. When you're... 37 years old with pink children's bow rats in your hair as a grown man. That has a lot to do with the story. And I know artists push the fashion boundaries, right? I get it. I know you're going to say, well, look at Andre 3000. Look at these people that push fashion boundaries. Okay. But I don't think that pushing fa fashion boundaries courtside at the basketball game with pink bow rats in your hair, staring down a man who did nothing to you. Now you may say, Charles, DeRozan was in a video calling him a PDF file. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start at the beginning. De, De, DeMar DeRozan was signed to the Toronto Raptors. Him and Drake took a liking to each other and became cool, right? But Drake, Drake takes a liking to everybody that comes to the team because he's the ambassador of the team. So he's going to take a liking. He's going to try to befriend you in some kind of way. But allegedly, they became cool to a degree. Now, Drake couldn't stop him when they traded him, right? They couldn't stop that. He had nothing to do with that. He had no say-so in that, right? This guy got traded. Drake couldn't stop it. He couldn't stop it. So, end of the day, this man didn't leave because he wanted to. He was traded, right? And all of Drake's power as the ambassador, none of that mattered. This man was gone, and it was over. He claims he went to his house, consoled him, blah, 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 blah. He, they talked, and, and DeMar himself says... It was very, it was very necessary in, a in his time of need that Drake was there for him, and he pretty much helped him through a really tough time. These guys get traded. People think they don't have no feelings. They have feelings. This stuff hurts when you get blindsided with a trade, and you got to go to a new team, sell your house, whatever's going on, move, pack up, and yada yada. So, with that being said, Drake believed that they were friends, right? And he and he believed that him and Drake were friends as well. Now, this is where. The childish stuff comes in. Now, let's let's just be honest. Now, a lot of people say, OK, DeMar DeRozan turned his back on Drake when he went on stage with Kendrick at the height of the beef, when when everything was coming to a head and it was the, the winner was being declared when he came out with his Not Like Us record and decided to do a video a few months later because he mentioned DeMar DeRozan in the song. Now, some people are going to say, well, DeMar DeRozan loyalty should have been with Drake because of his time with the Raptors and Drake coming to console him and him being Drake's friend and Drake, 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 right? Now, let's examine DeMar DeRozan's side of this. DeMar DeRozan is from Compton, the same place that Kendrick is from. I'm sure he he knew Kendrick well before he knew Drake. I'm just going to be honest. And let's also say that DeMar DeRozan's family lives in Compton still to this day, right? Let's just say this. If I'm your man, right, and we, if we got a mutual 
person in common that we both know, but I am having issues with that person. If I'm Drake and I'm saying, DeMar, you my man, right? I was there for you when you got traded. You my man. Now, I got this beef with Kenny, right? Me and Kenny, we beefing, we rap beefing. The whole world is watching, yada, yada, yada. I know you got ties in Compton. He shouted you out on this record. If you go do the video, right? That's my man. If you're my man, I understand that you're from Compton. Your family still lives there. You cannot turn this down. You got to put on for your city. You're from that city. You cannot sit here and stand inside with me. I'm from Toronto. I don't even live in the United States. I'm not going to have you risking everything just to stand some kind of loyalty, right? And I know I know the petty people are going to be like, nah, he should have been loyal. It's one thing to be loyal, right? It's another thing to be low-key kind of crazy. I got to go back home. I got to go back to L.A. I got to go back to Compton and tell these dudes I turned down Kenny so I can ride. I turned down the hometown so I can ride out with Drake who lived from Canada and don't even come here. See, this way the real represent. This way the real separate from the fake, right? A fake dude would be like, nah, nah, that's my, nah, you turn your back. Da, da, da. And I get it. It is a turn your back thing. But at the same time, he's caught in a hard place. He got two guys that he said he equally liked both of them. He has no beef. The dude asked him to be in the video. He did a cameo. If you really his man, you would have been like, yo, bro, I get it. You're, I understand the situation. I understand the situation. Not saying you got to forgive him, but you're at a basketball game. Let's get back to that. You're at a basketball game where well, this dude is a is a player. He he was one of the, if, if I'm not mistaken, he holds all the records, almost all the records of every, any Toronto Raptor. He has all the records Almost all of them. He broke everything over there. He he put the team on his on the map. Toronto Raptors used to be the laughing stock. Right? I'm just being honest. Before Vince Carter got there and before DeRozan, this day was a joke. So let's let's just say this. He don't gotta necessarily act like they're cool, right? But you're on the sideline, mean mugging because you got your man Chubbs ready to crash something, right? You got Chubbs ready to crash. Everything about this is sucker shit. I'm just going to be honest. You got pink bow rats in your head. You're standing up in a mink coat of all things. They act, they didn't even ask you about this dude. He's the ambassador. He sound tipsy. I'm just going to be honest. It sounded like he was low key. He was a little bit lit when he was talking to these guys. They let him do anything up in Canada. He on camera lit. Tipsy, right? They didn't even ask him about the dude. He said, were well, you going to say if the Rosen gets a banner up there, am I going to jump up, get up there? I'm, I'm going to tear it down. If he gets a banner up there, I, will I go up there and tear it down? Is that what you're going to ask? They didn't even ask him. He said, no, I, we didn't ask you that. We're not asking you that. We're not here to stir up no beef. We don't know what you got going on with this dude. We're, so, this is a professional. We're professionals. We're, we're, we're commentators. We're not here to stir up no beef with you and DeMar Ro DeRozan. <laughs> Then he calling him a pussy and this and that and go, go like all this stuff. And then he's looking away when a dude actually make eye contact. Now, let me just say this. I'm just going to be honest. The reason this is sucker, this is sucker shit. Because there's certain basketball players he would have never done this to. Right. You think he's doing this to run our test? Let's just be honest. You think he's mean mugging and staring down Ron our test because he got beef? Let's just be honest. It's certain dudes he not going to stay. He not even going to look at. He probably wouldn't have showed up to the game for certain of these guys. Right? See, the world trying to figure out is this corny or not. It's sucker shit and corny. If I'm at a basketball game, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to do nothing to you. Especially for the million dollar seats that I got. And I'm the ambassador of this of this place. I'm not going to do nothing to you and you ain't going to do nothing to me. So all the mean mugging is for show. Now, who's going to respect this mean mugging? I'm just, if you a guy that respects this mean mugging, you're goofy. Because the simple fact, if, let's, 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 let's just take this back to the hood. Let's just take the, everything relates to it because what he's doing is hood shit. He's trying to do hood shit. If I got a problem with you at the basketball court and I'm mean mugging you, we're going to thump right there. 
Sooner or later, that's that mean mug and somebody getting slapped and somebody getting stomped, we're gonna have a problem. So what you're telling me is if you move wrong, I'm gonna slap you or stomp you, and me and Chubb's gonna crash out. Right? But we know he's not gonna do nothing if this guy run off that court and start bombing on him. We know that. You do you see Drake all out fist fighting this guy right there in that in that thing? So no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, he's not gonna do that. He's not going to risk everything he has trying to fight this guy. He's going to let the guy swing, and he's going to step out the way. He's going to try to move out, out of his way. He's not going to fit. He's not going to be caught on camera fist fighting this guy. So why you mean mugging like you're going to do it? See, where I'm from, all that looking up and down and knocking tough means whatever you do right now, we can do it, right? And at the risk of at the risk of offending, right, Nicki Minaj fans, a lot of these females get offended when I say anything about these female rappers, but I'm not going to, I'm not disrespecting. I'm just going to call it like I see it. When Cardi B caught up with her at that Met Gala, we didn't see Chung Lee running across there to get the smoke. We saw Chung Lee heading the other way. I'm just being honest. So all of that talking and all that rough, tough stuff you going to do, you about to do, right? We don't believe you and we know you're not going to do it. So all of that, Energy, you call it a little pussy, that all this little stuff. We know for a fact that certain guys would have called you on that and you wouldn't have done nothing to them. If certain ballers not having it, dude just he's he's a professional. He's not gonna feed into that. And let's just get to the, the moral and, and the guts, the the, the 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 meat of the matter. I didn't even get to Maul condoning how goofy it was. Maul is on his show talking about, I'm just trying to shed a tone. I'm trying to show you that we ain't all good. You think this is how this man, this man gets the message that we not all good? The dude has been trying to be cordial to this guy for months. He's been trying to be like, listen, bro, it's no hard feelings, gang. All I really did was show up in the video. I didn't call you nothing. It was nothing. I didn't do nothing disrespectful to you. And see, this way, real versus fake. Anybody real would know he didn't do nothing disrespectful. He's a ball player. Now, somebody petty going to hold everybody accountable on that stage, right? Now, let me see. Let me see how many rappers Drake go mean mug. Him and Chubbs going in mean mugging and looking up and down. Let me see that. Right? Let me see how many of these enemy lists on this enemy list that he really press. Right? You can find them. Any, any of these, that little list you got with all these rappers that was on stage, you can find each and every single one of them. Let me see if he go at these rappers, go to their shows and stand there and mean mug them. That's why we're saying it's corny because you're only going to do it in certain situations where nothing's going to happen. That's why I look goofy. Just being honest, gang. See, a lot of people going to skate the surface, but I'm going to keep it a buck. You're not going to do nothing to that man. Where I'm from, people die over that, looking up and down, me mugging. It's crazy to do. It's absolutely insane. You're doing that for the internet. You're doing that for your fans. You're doing that for people who respect that. But anybody really from the hood not going to respect that because they know nothing's going to happen. So a lot of people, not even from the hood, the regular average person know he's not going to do nothing. And then you looked away when the guy looked at you. It's the softest shit ever. I'm just being honest. And what we have to understand is this is for the internet. This is for the internet. It's not real. And Maul is sitting there condoning this stuff. Maul is sitting there on his show. Everything this guy does, he makes an excuse for it. He makes it okay. It's cool. There's nothing cool about this. Maul, you have lost all credibility. If K, if K Dot had did this, if Kenny had did this in the slightest, you would have been yelling. You would have threw your chair talking about how much of a punk he was. But you're going to sit there and make excuses. You're going to enable this goofy ass behavior. This is why the game is what it is. This is why a lot of people are allowed to hold space in this hip hop business because it's all a show now. It's all a show now. Y'all remember a guy named DMX? I don't think DMX played a lot of games like this. 
Matter of fact, most of the rappers that Drake reveres and says he's an idol, those is those none of the most of them wouldn't even play these games. You don't hear you don't even hear about rappers playing this game. If you hear about a rapper staring somebody down, you probably heard about a fight or a shootout that happened right after that. But Drake is allowed to play these games, and his fans allowed to say, "Yeah, he he's he's uh he's he's showing that he he's not with it." Yo, and I get it. Some people gonna say, "Well, the fans say the worst things to these players all the time." Yeah, the fans. You're supposed to be the ambassador of the Toronto Raptors. You're the Canadian ambassador. You're supposed to carry yourself with a certain decorum. And this is why everybody's having a problem with this guy right now. It's getting super childish. You know, people would have respected more. Remember when Chris Brown and Quavo got seated beside each other and they just sat there? Yeah, a couple months later, they had all kind of diss records and who won't smoke with me, right? They, they, all that was later. But at the show, they was at somebody else's professional event. They just sat there, watched the show, and walked and got up and walked away. It wasn't no theatrics. And this is theatrics. And Maul is ridiculous at this point. Maul has zero credibility. The show's almost impossible to watch. It actually is, to be honest. The simple fact of the matter is this guy is so entrenched in being this guy's friend at night on the phone that he has absolutely no, absolutely no respect for himself anymore. He can't call out this man on anything at this point because he don't want to miss that late night phone call. Dead ass sucker shit if I've ever seen it. And this is the problem. See, you, you're running out into the world risking your career at this point. Because now a lot of people are in your comments calling you a glazer and this, that, and the third. It's one thing to be cool with a dude, but it's a whole nother thing to be absolutely irrevocably just dedicated to everything they do, bad or good, you're going to say is great. You're compromised. Right? And what's the girl, the poor girl, Damaris, who looking good lately? She's been Damaris. On. She didn't even speak in this whole clip. She's like, I'm so disgusted with this guy. She's sick and tired of arguing about it. Rory got to sit there and try to bring, he got to sit there and try to attempt to make it like this is like some type of, we, we can have a balanced conversation. You can't have a balanced conversation about this shit. Just being honest. There is no balanced conversation. Some shit is just sucker shit. Some shit is goofy, bro. Staring up, staring down a man in a green mink coat that's playing basketball, doing his job. I think they lost that night on top of that, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, right? But at the end of the day, who thinks that this is tough behavior? Who thinks that this is harsh? Who thinks that this is showing his muscle? He showed his muscle in Toronto. I'm showing the muscle. I run things here, right? Canada's a great place. They deserve better. Canada's a great place. They deserve a lot better. This makes Canada re really look crazy. I'm just being honest. It looked crazy. Spike Lee don't act like that at the game. Yeah, Spike Lee does his one, two, da, da, da. At the same time, he'll laugh and joke with the same player that he's talking junk about. He laughed at Reggie Miller when they, when they had their worst back and forths. He was not like, I'm going to punch you in your face. I want to know where the man is at because the boy is all we're seeing. This stuff 10, 15 years ago may have been, okay, we can look past it. You're only 27. You're still young. You're, you're a father with a child, right? You're, you're a multimillionaire that has a private jet, you have many mouths to feed. There is absolutely no reason for other children to see you acting like this on the sideline, like you're some kind of tough guy with your bodyguard on top of that toward a professional athlete who's absolutely done nothing to you. And a lot of you guys are gonna say, Charles, he, was, he disrespected him, he was disloyal. Why was he disloyal? He's in a music video for two seconds, he doesn't say one word. And I'm not telling Drake you got to be cool with him, but you're going to act like this every time you see him? 
Now, the funny thing going to be is if they walking past in that hallway and this dude yoke him up by his neck, slam his head on the wall and crack his skull open because he's acting tough and then Chubb's got to really crash out, then they're going to call DeMar DeRozan a fool. Meanwhile, this guy been antagonizing him, calling him a pussy and everything under the sun. So I'm going to leave it at this. I need more to call out childish, buffoonish behavior, even if it's with his man, or don't say anything at all. But don't try to make it like it's cool and it's all right. You sound absolutely ridiculous. And I know Rory got a ride because it, it, Rory's starting to, it looked like, I'm just going to be honest, Rory's starting to look like he's trying so hard not to contradict himself and lose his integrity in the middle of this. But they look, they look, they look absolutely ridiculous when they bring this man up because everybody in the room is on eggshells. Every time they bring up Drake, they on eggshells because they know this guy is like a damn fool for this guy. His opinion always seems starting to lean, even, even on non-Drake topics, his opinion starting to lean to the ridiculous. And it's just like, I'm just standing on anything that I feel like standing on, no matter if it makes sense or not. It's just stupid. On that note, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this with you. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't have no more words for it. I don't understand why people and 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 Mace and Cameron tiptoeing around this and acting all scary. Like, well, I see why he has a problem with it. They've clowned dudes for less than this. Mace and Cameron have clowned dudes for less than this. They have went all in. Right? Clown Jay Prince and everybody, they clown everybody. But with Drake, it's tippy toe. Right? Tippy toe. Oh, I see why you would be mad. I understand. So y'all condoning this too? Y'all think this is cool? Mace Cam, y'all think this okay? Peace. Look, mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when Southern Hill was still a gold mine. When pistol grips was my shit and I sold mine. When alias was not a show and they told mine. Elevate your mind with high quality THC infused products. BlackYeti.com black-yeti.com CLB